The city of Dhaka never sleeps. There is noise, hustle and bustle, people going about their daily business. Beneath all this, there are real people in real need. The Sir William Beveridge Foundation is seeking them out and offering help and support through its free secular home care service. Provided by fully trained beverage carers and nurses, vulnerable elderly people, many of them displaced because of climate catastrophes such as floods, are being helped with their daily personal care needs and so improving their quality of life. And they're not the only ones in their families to benefit. When my mother was ill, I was unable to do any other work. Now we have people coming from the foundation to care for my mother. Because of their assistance, I'm now able to do other tasks. As I'm also disabled, I appreciate their support. We both work, and after work, we're unable to look after my mother properly. The care assistant you've provided does a good job in looking after my mother. She's very well cared for, which we appreciate, and we pray that the foundation continues to grow so that people like us can receive this kind of help. The Sir William Beveridge Foundation first contacted me and introduced their vision. They explained what type of work they wanted to undertake. After discussions, I was very interested about the care that would be provided for the elderly in the community. It is quite important to provide such care for the elderly, as many family members are unable to do so today. At their old age, they are unable to look after themselves. And at this point, the carers from the foundation are crucial in providing care. Furthermore, I am receiving a lot of praise for bringing this kind of service to my area. An important part of the Beveridge Foundation's work in providing this free home care service involves promoting gender equality and the empowerment of women. Offering training and employment opportunities to women and men as beverage carers from the local communities provides a platform so they can start their own journeys out of poverty, enhance their own self-esteem and confidence and improve their lives. Sir so William Beveridge Foundation is an organisation where everyone is treated equally. Men and women alike all have the same rights. Although I'm from a tribal community, I receive equal rights from the organisation. We grew up with a lot of difficulty as our father had left us. My mother tried to raise us as best as possible. Her very low income made it hard for us. We are much better off today than before. Now I am able to study alongside my job. The foundation has given me a massive opportunity. My family is better off today as I receive a good salary. My younger sister is able to study. We are in a nice house now. Generally, people talk about race and religion. But in our office, the environment is much more open. There is equal opportunity for everybody and no discrimination. My husband didn't work and would physically, verbally and mentally abuse me. Whatever little money I was able to earn would have to be given to him. Women shouldn't have to put up with this. Domestic violence isn't acceptable. The Beverage Foundation can be a lifeline to another way for all women. After searching and searching, I eventually came across the foundation. I was given an interview and offered the opportunity to work with the foundation. My life started to change. I started to feel like an empowered and capable person. My first decision was to separate from my husband and live with my children. I could do everything myself. In a country like Bangladesh, I feel it is amazing that an organization like this actually exists, that empowers women. After receiving my master's degree, I still couldn't find a job. I came to the foundation and got a job with ease, which isn't usually possible in this country. Because equal opportunities is very important in this organization, we're all equal and I never feel any segregation between Muslims, Hindus or Christians. 
The Beveridge Foundation believes that women deserve better. They deserve to be treated equally and with respect and have every opportunity to improve their lives. Given the chance, they will take it and then watch them grow.